Scientists finally discover a new way to travel <sighs> 10 times faster than light. Do you think teleportation is the stuff of legends? Think again. Scientists have now finally discovered a new way that will allow them to navigate through space at faster than light speed. This would be literally done without breaking any laws of physics. What is the new way scientists have found? How exactly does it work? And how did a famous American sci-fi TV show inspire this idea? Join us today as we tell you about a new way that will enable scientists to bring a hypothetical dream into reality and achieve the impossible. So, if you're a sci-fi geek, you would have seen plenty of films and shows which show such advanced spaceships that are somehow able to generate a huge amount of power and travel at speed faster than light. Even in Star Trek, where the warp drive that was powered by a fusion reaction between matter in the form of deuterium, a type of hydrogen gas, and antimatter mediated by dilithium crystals, and it generated such massive power that it warped space-time and propelled the ship faster than the speed of light. Well, technically, according to our current understanding of physics and Einstein's theory of relativity, the speed of light is something like a cosmic speed limit that cannot be surpassed. And it is impossible to even come close to traveling at 299,792,458 meters per second, especially for anything with mass, such as spacecraft and humans. Light travels very fast, like when you switch on a light bulb or a tube light. You don't feel this, but light reaches every corner of the room even before you blink your eyes at a single time. The distance of things in space is measured in terms of light years from Earth, and one light year is approximately equal to 6 trillion miles or 10 trillion kilometers, which is way too far. The universe is huge, and it takes hundreds to thousands of light years to travel from one place to another. The light can travel from the moon into our eyes in one second, which means that the moon is one light year away. If traveling at the speed of light is achieved, then Musk's dream of a trip to the red planet to become an interplanetary species will not take from 5 to 12 months, but the whole journey to Mars will be possible in 4 minutes. Just imagine, wouldn't it be amazing to travel to a whole new planet in less than 5 minutes? The current concept of space-time in physics originates from Albert Einstein's general relativity. According to the principles of general relativity, space and time are inseparable and nothing can move faster than the speed of light. Heavy objects such as stars and black holes bend space-time around them, and this effect is described by general relativity. In 1994, Mexican theoretical physicist Miguel came up with the concept of warp drive and showed that by staying within the limits of the general theory of relativity, space-time can be compressed in front of the spaceship while expanding behind it and that this was mathematically possible. I know it sounds complex, but just imagine that there are two points, say A and B, and the distance between them is 10 meters, which means you have to travel at 1 meter per second if you want to move from A to B. But let's say somehow you are able to compress the space between the two points, and you are left with a total interval of 1 meter. Then, moving through space-time at your maximum speed of 1 meter per second, you would be able to reach point B in about 1 second. This approach is in sync with Einstein's theory, as you're not moving at the speed of light in the space around you. Alcubri took the idea from Star Trek, and he theoretically hinted towards the possibility of achieving it practically as, according to him, the warp drive could work by enclosing the spaceship in a bubble of flat space-time and curving space-time around the bubble to shorten distances. But the whole system had one problem, that the process of compressing space-time requires negative energy or negative mass. Scientists have not observed negative mass yet, leaving them with the option of negative energy. A warp drive can generate negative energy by using a very large quantity of mass to create an imbalance between particles and antiparticles. And the negative energy could be used by Alcubri's warp drive to generate the space-time bubble. However, a lot of matter is required in order for a warp drive to produce sufficient negative energy. According to Alcubri, the mass of the observable universe is needed to power a warp drive with a bubble measuring 100 meters in diameter. While Alcubri's model had problems, Eric Lentz proposed a solution that removes the negative energy from the equation altogether, and he did it by taking a different geometric approach. His solution would allow the bubble to travel faster than the speed of light, but still, experimentation is needed before we can say something for sure. Yes, warp speed is in process. Space travel in minutes and even seconds is underway, and soon you will be able to see sci-fi turning into reality. But so far, we only have theoretical propositions which need to be verified and tested. Oh, and by the way, 
Maybe you should schedule tomorrow at 9 p.m. on your agenda as we're dropping some amazing news that you possibly have never heard of.